Okay, so now we're getting into the 1000 rating mark. Um, let me just make sure that I've been recording. Okay, I am recording. Thank God. Well, if I, if I had not been recording, I would have cried. Okay. Um, <laughs> how long have we been going? Uh, nearly an hour. And we're halfway through. Okay, this is... Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a fog game. Versus, it is Becoming Prim versus Blank Guy. Um, I can't click on Blank Guy, but he was like a... He played really well versus me in a high funds game. And he was around like 10,000, 11,000. And then Becoming Prim is... Okay, so it's she, her. Um, it's Becoming Prim. She is at 1,023 with about 200 games played. Okay, Fog Map, I've played this one once before versus MXD, and I got destroyed. And um, it's Max vs. Eagle. Um, I haven't played Fog in about six months or so, so I'm a little rusty on my Fog, but this will be interesting to see how things go. Um, I guess I slightly prefer Eagle on this map because it is a little choky. Um, so Eagle can kind of wall up and wall it even easier because it's fog, take it to late game, and then run with Super CO power. So that's kind of my thought about what Eagle's game plan is. Max just wants quick brawls that are decisive that give him, give him an, an advantage um, in that early mid-game and mid-game. Oh, it looks like uh, Becoming Prim didn't use... Um, didn't use the refreshes beta, so we'll have to load. We'll have to um, click through a different. Okay. Both we'll the able to take it turn by turn. Okay, base first. It is a 10,000 game, so I certainly expect them to abide by the, the usual metas. Oh, interesting. Okay, so Blink decides to move to skip a capture to go for the city, presumably. Um, you can get away with a lot of that in Fog, because you can surprise your opponent by um, being a little bit further forward than they think you'll be. And another big, big skip there, too. That's interesting. I think... I've heard people give the advice that um, if you're playing a, a stall, big, giant, super CO power, no day-to-day -day, um, character like Eagle, you kind of want to take a more conservative opening game so that you move slowly and deliberately and capture your properties with like artillery backing your captures and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see. So did he decide not to attack this infantry with the recon? Yeah, so he sees it and decides not to do anything. Um, a more aggressive move would have been to like sit on the city, but he would be eating a max tank hit, so not the best. Ooh, build skip. He skipped a, a build right there. That's really not what you want, in my opinion, because there are two cities... Okay, maybe the, maybe the interface just glitched out. Oops, hold on. What did she do? Okay, tank on the right, tank on the left. Okay, um. Recon interrupt with no tank backup. That's a little sketchy. Um, I know WIJ always likes to play. Uh, WIJ is a, one of the best fog players of all time. Um, he's always careful to keep his tanks backing up his recons when he goes in for aggressive plays like this. Um, so I would probably follow that advice.
Okay, uh, there goes the recon. Yeah, he just, yeah, Max just one-shots it. So that's a strong start for becoming Prem. So far, it seems that, um, her parrot is going to say. Okay, onward. Oh, I was going to say, it seems that Blank has, um, the advantage in, in Econ so far. In Income, that is. Although, Blank is, oh, is that an HQ that's being after? No, it's a city. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, okay. So there's three tanks here. Sees two tanks and anti air. Decides to engage. Well, the second tank doesn't get a shot off, so. A little bit dubious to attack there. Oh, okay. They trap into it. And then they make the hit. Probably better to hit the tank on the planes because it does more damage. And it looks like uh, Blank is going to lose the city. So there goes their econ advantage, their income advantage, rather. Okay, let's see what Behind Pen did. Okay, that tank is gone. Kills a tank, nearly kills a recon. Lots of infantry down here with three tank backup. Okay, and then uh, Blank does a good move by building a medium tank the previous turn. But yet another city is going to fall to become a gun. Oh, interesting. Going for the tank kill. I, I kind of like it. Okay, it, in my mind, this attack seems pretty risky. Um, just like trying to discount that I see what the opponent has. But, um, I mean, as we can see from having vision of the whole thing, it turns out that this attack Actually, it seems to work pretty well. I guess we'll find out for sure. Oh, wait, never mind. No, no, never mind. No, it doesn't. <laughs> wait, where did all those tanks come from? Okay, this tank was on there. This tank is it now at 9 HP and hits. Uh, do they get the. Does Becoming Crim get the anti air? No, because it's in a forest. Okay, so yeah, that's that's a front collapse, pretty much. And then Eagle's getting closer to power, but Eagle just does not have enough vehicles. I mean, yeah, medium tank is hitting infantry. I mean, maybe, well, down 3k in income. Way down in unit value. Healing up tanks. Becoming Prim is playing this patiently. And look at what the patience has gotten her. She's been able to, she has this capture going for her. Oh, interesting. She doesn't block it off. She plays very far back. Okay, that's, that's a pretty interesting move. It's kind of a bait. Um, trying to bait out the super CEO power while she's retreated and on both fronts. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's nice move moving the two HP inventory up to check the forest. It's like a nice sort of like subtle move. Okay, interrupts. 
I mean, there's actually not even enough stuff for her to hit, uh, for, sorry, for Blank to hit to initiate the Super Seal power. So does she kill this tank? Interesting to see. Okay, so she does move up enough to kill the tank. That means we're going to see Eagle Seal power. And really nice move. This is like classic anti-Eagle strategy. Hit on one front to force the Super Seal power to have to happen to, uh, in order to like force the Super Seal power out, and then retreat really hard on your other front so that you don't get punished. So yeah, that really, that's a very strong move. Um, very good anti-Eagle strategy, or tactic as Drifts would call it. Okay, so we can see a lightning strike turn. Oh, that's a kill. So then this medium tank gets a shot. But it won't be connecting onto another medium tank. It'll be hitting the tank if it decides. I mean, it has to go in. Like, Oh, okay, it goes that way? So it's over there. I'm confused about that. This is the lightning strike turn. Yeah, this is a good lightning strike. The issue is that be is that becoming prim has super seal power of her own to respond with. Okay, and actually, uh, um, blank sees this coming and retreats hard. But what prim what but what blank doesn't know is that there's like four tanks and a medium tank over here, so there could still be some seri pretty serious damage. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, so the medium tank is one square out of range. Like that's. That's a very good uh, one square out of range with its plus two. So that's that's a really solid move um, by Blank on his own medium tank. So looking at the economy, it looks like the lightning strike evened out the evened out the overall unit value, but becoming Crim still has a four K income lead, and it's her turn, and she has super CEO power. Oh gosh, that was a big <laughs> jump of forces. <laughs> so yeah, it gets a recon, a tank, starts some captures. Oh, and on the left she gets literally four tanks, um, all of which above 5 HP. Yeah, um, you can, I think the story is told by the, uh, by the Total unit value tab here. So yeah, I think it's going to be a really quick GG. Okay, not a bad attack. Like strikes with all of blank stri blank strikes with all of their units, and gets first shot on the medium tank. I still think it's a little too little too late. What was that? Okay, not a big wall break on the bottom right. Oops. Uh, fairly big wall break. Hitting that back artillery is pretty painful. And then bringing the four, bringing the medium tank down to four HP means that um, this is like crushable by tanks. So now Blank returns fire. Looking okay on the left hand side. Oh, and Super CEO powers up again. Um, Well, now the problem is that Blink is too far down on unit count to really take good advantage of the Super Seal power. We'll see. I mean, it'll do a bit of damage, but um, it's not going to be game-ending. Plus, considering that Blink is at half of the opponent's unit value, uh, I just don't really see a game-ending Super Seal power 
in the near future. Yeah, being down on both economy, like both, being down on both unit value and unit count and income, if you're down on all three, it's, especially by this much, it's hard to amount of comeback. Yeah, after the super CEO power is still down um, nearly 2K, uh, sorry, 2K? 20k in army value. Oh, is this the end of the game? No, not quite. Okay, this is the last move that seals it. Yeah. Just kind of strikes with everything, stuff in the back. Oh, capturing the base. Ouch, how did that happen? Oh, okay, there was just no base build. Okay, yeah. All right, yep, so that's that game. Um, main takeaways. Um, maybe play a little more conservatively with Eagle and Fog. Um... What else happened? Again, I'm a little bit rusty in my fog, so... Maybe try to, like, maybe try to force Super CEO power on both fronts instead of like allowing your opponent to retreat on one. Um, when you're eagle, you want to strike with both fronts at once. So like trying to open that up um, might have been a good idea. Um, I mean, and then the other issue is that uh, eagle is fighting with such with a large income disparity for much of the game. So that doesn't help uh, very much either. So all these mid-game city captures end up um, paying huge dividends for becoming prim as the game goes on and on and on like this.